Lord with an everlasting salvation. Uh -huh. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confound you. World without end. What is Israel? World, world without, without end. end. Israel? World, world without, without end. end. Israel is that world without end. Right. That's what, the world without end. That's what the whole scriptures is talking about. The children of Israel. They are the world without end. We are a world, meaning a plasma. Right. You see what I'm saying? So go to John chapter 3 and verse number 1. Because everybody can tell you what John 3 16 say. Can nobody say what John 3 and 14 say? Or what John 3 and 15 say? Right? But let, let's start off with the context of the whole chapter. Right? Read what you got. Let's go to John chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. There was a man, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. A ruler of who? A ruler of the Jews. So there was a man named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Right? Can you read it? The same came to Yahushua by night and say unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from your house. So now this man, he came to Jesus by night and he came in secret because he didn't want nobody else to know about him. But ultimately, Nicodemus, he came over there to Jesus and Nicodemus, he was a ruler of the Jews. So these are two Jews having a conversation right now. Y'all familiar with Jesus being a Jew? Being an uh, Israelite? Give me uh, Hebrews chapter 7 and verse uh, 14. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to prove all things with the script. Give me Hebrews 7 and verse 14. All, all things with the script. Look at Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Uh, Bring it out. For it is evident. And it's a clear cut fact that what? That our Lord. Brother, who is our Lord? Right, right. Who, who, uh, who died for the sins of the he, that's right. That's our Lord. Right? So our Lord who? For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Out of where? Out, out of, of Judah. Judah. Now Judah, today, these will be the so-called African Americans. Right? These will be the actual tribe of Judah. Not African American, that's not their name. When you look at African and America, these are two different continents that were named after so-called white men. Right? But Amerigo Vespucci, America was named after him. South America and North America. Then you have Leo Scipio Africanus. That's why they named that land Africa. So when we say we're African American, we're calling ourselves after two white men, which we don't descend from. Right? So we have to understand that coming from the tribe of Judah, that's very important. Jesus Christ, he came out of the tribe of Judah. But guess what? These heathen, these so-called white people around here, they won't tell you from the tribe of Judah because they know it's power in that. They know it's power when you know that. Well, they know. They know for a fact. They know for a fact. Uh, you have you have even so-called white people that are coming out and saying it now, right? Because the, the Lord is uh, allowing the, the true spirit to spring out on the earth, right? And, right. So I don't need black folks to different tribes. That's right. That's right. You look. You look at uh, Judah, American black. These are the West Indian. These are so-called Jamaicans. Then you have Haitians, but it's not just black people. You have uh, Mexicans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, uh, Colombians. These are all of our people. So the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, these are God's true chosen people, right? And But we have all been uh, put into captivity and renamed after another name. That's right. That's why you look at um, the so-called Mexicans. They have names like Cortez, names like Rodriguez, because guess what? We got the same names like Washington, uh, Jefferson. Because we got the same last name of our slave owner, just like they got. Right? They got conquered by the Spanish conquistadors, and we got conquered by the uh, English speaking so called white man. Right? I the white guy told me that Mexicans can't stand black people. I left them alive. But you have, but you have, uh, Mexican, some Mexicans that feel like that. Some, some black people don't like black people. That's right. Because all of us have talked a lot. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. We still got Haiti. The French. Right. The French. Who conquered Haiti. That's right. That's right. And the uh, Spanish conquered the Mexican Republic. Right. And, and they mixed with their people. Isaiah 28. Right. Right. They all live mixed. Yeah. That's right. Because they treat them like they've got some of them. You already know what's up, man. But hey, we all. Know. I, no, no, I still don't know. 
Okay. None of us know it all. And that's very much all. Hey, give that brother another hand, man. The Lord said, my people shall humble themselves, and they remember who they are, and repent. The Lord going to come and save us from our captivity. Man. That's, That's right. right. So read what you got, King. Book of uh, Deuter give me verse 15 first. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments. Now these are future prophecies that Moses said would happen. Now Moses, he would be from the tribe of Levi. Okay. Levi today would be the Haitians. Okay. So if Moses walked the earth today, he would be called a Haitian. All right. Read. To, to observe this, let me read from the top. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 15. Excuse me, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Now this shall come to pass. Yet thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The Lord's voice is his word, his commandment. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these blessings, all, all these, these curses, curses read, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, brother, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. That's, That's a bad thing, thing right? So the Lord said, all these bad things, they're going to come upon you and overtake thee. Let me show you one bad thing that happened according to the scripture. Give me verse uh, 54 real quick here. We do the army, chapter 28, verse 54. Uh -huh. So that the man that is tender among you uh -huh. and very delicate. Now, it, it was a point in time we would be tender and delicate towards one another. It wouldn't be uh, beef as soon as we meet each other. Correct. Right? Because you got on green, now I'm beefing with you. Or you got on the beater, and I got on knocking. I don't, and we ain't rocking the same. Right. Oh, you from Jefferson Street, and you from Thomas uh, Edison. Oh, we, we ain't rocking. But these, we, and we beefing over street names, named that so called white men. Over Crenshaw, right? Might be blind. That, that right, brother. It seemed like y'all figuring this thing out, man. That's the spirit right. is entering into y'all. You read? So that the man that is tender among you, huh? and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. Toward his what? Toward, toward his, his brother. brother. What's the so called Mexican? Toward, toward his, his brother. brother. So now our eyes are evil toward our brother. Against our own black people and our own brother, the Mexicans as well. So we hate each other. Yeah, you might hate up. Some of our brothers hate uh, other brothers because they light skinned. Right? Who taught you that? So called white man taught you that. Right. Now, you, you might hate a brother because he's uh, a little darker than everybody else. See what I'm saying? I feel when I was in high school, the dog and his nigga went in. Right. Oh, God, one of the red ones. Right. Who taught that was crazy. Right, right. 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 And, and that's what they push. That's what they push. Right. When I was kid, I thought white women were so pretty, so I was on the TV. That's right, that's why right. They had become the main image of beauty. That's right, yeah. While dark skinned people were forced to work in the fields, this created a division. And because of this, it added on to the connotation that having darker skin is bad. After slavery, light skinned people were seen as more attractive than darker skinned people because they looked more white. Which is dope. This causes light skin to have a privilege over dark skin. Don't think colorism is rare in our society. Take this example, this book, The Hate You Give, you can see that the main character is clearly dark skinned. But in the movie adaptation, they used a light skinned actress. Now, that doesn't mean the movie was bad. It just goes to show that even light skinned actresses have an advantage over dark skinned actresses, even if they don't fit the book's description. Even me, y'all, I assure you, if I was dark skinned, some of y'all wouldn't be here right now. If you guys take away anything, take away this. Every black person is beautiful and worthy to be treated like royalty, because that's what we are. And don't forget. Because guess what, when they took us captive, at one point in time, the nations, they used to look, and they still do, but they look at us uh, for everything, for fashion, for, uh, for ideas, all the inventions that we have. They look to us because we are a powerful people, right? We so we're going to That's right, that's right. Read what you got, King. <laughs> hey, you ain't got black faces. We see you. Come on, see the word. Come hear his word, sister. This is why I peep. Right, bring your kids over here. Let them know they're kings and princes and rulers on the earth. That's right. Read. His eye shall be evil toward his brother uh -huh. and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward his what? And toward the wife of his bosom. Now, I shall be evil toward our brother and towards the, uh, the wife of his bosom. Right, right. Now, when it's talking about that, you know, who makes music and the great and women like we do? You hear country music on the beach and they run back. Right? Right, and, and they have taught our women to go against each other, to go against us. 
Because so, right. that's just like the Winnie Lynch left on the slave plantation. They would take your woman, turn her against you, and put her over you. When ultimately, they would be messing up the whole cycle in which God created the right. man over the woman. Right. So now they understand that we can psychologically uh, deteriorate their nationality and their heritage by putting the woman over the man. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and you look at Babylon, this this land in America. That's why you have now what they call uh, brothers. They call it brothers going to get their passport. Okay. Meaning, brothers like you can't really find no good woman here no more. You got brothers going to Jamaica, going to damn uh, Haiti, going to these different third world countries where they still have a foundational uh, father. Uh, wife and then kids household. They that's, they call it getting their passport, right? Because over here it's hard to find that. You have your independent woman. She want to be independent. Want to be a boss B. Want to have the the the, the bins and all that stuff. Then turn forty five. Now she want to have kids, right? Now she now she mad and wish somebody would have told her that it would have been better for her to get married young and have kids. Man-made man man religion. Religion. All, the all, the man man all, all these are man religion. You won't find Baptists in the Bible. You won't find Pentecostal and all these different religions in the Bible. Man but, religion. That's right. You won't find man religion in the Bible, bro. Let me, let me hey, get uh, give First Chronicles 13, verse 6. Can I finish that? Uh, no. Okay, let me finish that. And then give me First Chronicles chapter 13, and verse 6. 10. Read his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. And how evil towards our wife, right? A lot of our brothers, they beat their wives, you know, they evil towards them, they call them bees or hoes, right? Don't stay and take care of the kids with the with the woman. Hit it and quit. You know, that's that's being evil towards your own community and your country. We the other nations, they don't teach that. Now you might have a few here and there that do that, but they don't teach that and pump that out and, and as right, that's right. What that's mean, right. you need to be the right? Pretty much like uh, you look at our music that we listen to, right? Uh, the rap music. It's, uh, terrible. it's terrible. It's horrible. I don't even listen to that shit no more. See what I'm saying? Now, sometimes you can't get from it, you know, but I don't buy no shit like that. That's right. All praise, brother. All praise. You read? And for the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall, shall lead. Now, these are curses. Now, remember. Said the bad things would happen to who? The Israelites. It, it, it wouldn't happen to no other nation. That's right. Now, these curses that we read, does that happen to the Korean man? Or the so called white man? Or the Asian man? Or the, the Japanese man? How about the Arabs? The thing like black folk getting it worse than anybody. Getting it worse than anybody. Because guess what? God deals with us as he deals with his own children. That's right. Because we are his children. That's right. Just like. I always wondered that I, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Amos 3 You already know it, bro. That's right. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. This is the reason why. See, you're not going to find your answers in your Christian pastors, churches. The only answer you're going to find is how to find an envelope to put your money in and how to lick it and then send it up to, to the pastor. Chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Oh, who? O children of Israel. The Lord is talking to who? That's right. And who are we, brother? That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. That's right. So the Lord is talking to the children of Israel and what? You only against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known. You what? You, you only have I known. They won't tell you this. Only have I known. So the Lord only knows the Israelites. He only knows the Israelites. You won't find in the Bible, and we 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 did anybody 
any religion out here to show us country that God has a other, another chosen people in these scriptures besides the Israelites. They won't be able to do it. You read? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Y'all got kids now? Say, say your kids at daycare, right? And and the, the daycare teacher called and she said, the kids are acting up, right? Your kid is involved, right? All of them just tearing, they doing shooting spitballs at the teacher, slapping her in the face, right? Pulling the clothes up and all that stuff. So you get there, who you gonna punish? You gonna punish your kids or you gonna punish the whole classroom? You gonna get them your kids. That's just like the most high. So he said, I'm gonna punish you for your iniquity. Although all these kids throwing spitballs and cutting up on this earth, I'm gonna punish you. You gonna get it the worst. That's why we catching so much hell. Right.